kicked around since I was born I was alright, it's okay And you may look the other way But we can try to understand The New York Times are paid for man Whether you're a brother, whether you're a mother You're staying alive, staying alive Feel the city breaking and everybody shaking I do get to have the answers to those problematic questions. Now let me start from the very beginning. Not from when I was a little fetus, but, you know, nah. That, but my introduction. My name's Edgar. Last name's not important, besides it's personal. Unless you want to follow your boy on the gram at Edgar T underscore four twenty sixty nine. <laughs> All right, here's a here's a little. Here it is. Twenty three years old, Northern California kid. So if I say hello too much, just DM me, or something in that matter. You know what's going on here, right? Or am I having some kind of fever dream? I cannot focus doing something without being, without having to check on something important. Did you hear how, how it sounded earlier? Like, follow your boy on, on the gram? Do you me something in that matter? Wait, is that a Boston accent? In that matter? Okay, no. It's like Italian, right? I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. I mean, what the hell? What? What is that? You know, I, I sound like a cyborg or a human android, or you know, whatever like that. Social media is possessive. Don't get it twisted. Smartphone, good. Instagram, bad. Snapchat, bad. So um. We're awfully turned on by good news everyone is sharing on the on the platforms like sharing a new movie role or being booked or new books being made or <laughs> being interviewed like a high scholar or <laughs> it all seems like a competition every day you know for anyone who's in the same position of what he or she loves doing For instance, photography, writing, filmmaking, and podcasting. Uh, 
whatever it is, it may uh, um, come off inv envious. But I'm real appreciative for the others, 100%. 100%. We're consumed a lot of the times by the fixation of the grits and the glamour uh, on social media. For instance, you know, shirtless dude showing off their physique. And um, I don't know why I did it like that, but supermodels and um, making the, no other man like myself feel insecure. It's the realness though. I feel that on a daily, you see this? All this, it's like scars and all that shit. This is the prime example of, this is a prime example of looking hideous as shit. That and the fact I gained weight over the years, losing my, losing my, uh, tone six pack when I was like 16, you know? That right there, there is a goal getter. Why do I have to feel imperfect 24 seven considering there's pretty girls wouldn't go for a, you know, a gentleman like me, a fellow like me. Or dudes with jawlines are sharp as hell. I had to touch on that for a little bit, for a little while. Having it bottle inside is just the worst. That's the worst, man. <laughs> hey, Edgar here. Of course, I'm the only one that's here the entire time. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the, the needy greedy, okay? You know, it's the blue tick of the stamp on uh, famous people's Instagram, like celebrities and shit. Uh, like, you know, for instance, you know, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, like fucking, what is it, like 145 million followers on Instagram? I don't fucking know. It's, it's right there. Uh, <laughs> that's a clarification, also the verification check mark to know you're a fucking big shot. You're a fucking big shot kid, like from from Boston. Okay, uh, that's it. Um, high named in social media platforms. This is what I hate about it, frankly. Why do I need to gain a mass following status to feel more sort of an invincibility? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, hell do I do something uh, controversial or silly or uh, but or plus motherfucker, mother sucker. Yeah. A publicity stunt to uphold my numbers up to, you know, satisfy my followers amount, whatever I'm on the uh, there. I mean, that metaphorically. When will there be a time to be euphorically well pleased about all things considered Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, yeah. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Fucking motherfucker. I know what you're thinking, right? Pathetic. It's real pathetic. You can't last one to five hours without our extravagant smartphones to stare, you know, to stare mindlessly at like I have right here. 
it's not a great device we have. That's not the problem. The problem is I Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. You you name it. As the kids say it, snap. Like no. Anyway, the problem is how disgracefully formatted it is, how everything is a damn competition to life. And is in the virtual world, of course. I'm sick of it. I'm disgusted by what we got to enjoy by posting, liking, commenting, DMing, sharing to stories, whichever, whatever. You know, uh, it's not fun anymore. I mean, first we had MySpace. You know, you know let me elaborate here for a little bit. MySpace, we, uh, yeah, we had Tom Anderson as a friend, as a first friend, internet friend. Uh, he was a we have top eight, right? And he, he created that top eight. Uh, Tom Anderson, if you're watching, you, you're my homie. I love you. You're my boy. You know, I appreciate you. And um, yeah, think about the top eight we had. The top eight. We could add music. We had, had the small mirror pictures we could you know, add and attach to. Like friggin', it was a Tumblr of the early 2000s. That was revolutionary Let's see we got smartphones which is good for a good use yeah we had myspace I think and I I, had, I wasn't old enough to use it but I still know what it was all about of course I had older siblings and um, I was born in the late 90s so there's that I just want to clarify again. No, fuck that. Just keep going. But, you know, those are soothing times for Facebook. You know, like Tom Anderson being our first internet friend. You know, like my first internet friend. And, uh, you know what? He's a homie. He's my boy. I, I fuck him. I, I, I fucks with him. I love him. But, shoot, I kind of miss Tom Anderson. And freaking putting, like, Fallout Boy... Um, My Chemical Romance, uh, Usher, oh, fuck else is it, uh, Akon on my uh, top eight, on my, well, at my older brother do it for me, I guess, uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember, I, I had a bad memory, actually, apparently. Just now, I figured this out. I figured it out. I conceptualized it. I'll have a ton of followers one day. Or at least shit, I, at least, I hope I will. Just, it just won't happen overnight or magically in a section of one day. Or, you know, I've been waiting as long as since 2012 when I joined Instagram. I get that virtual love and appreciation from lots of, you know, people maybe the t next 10 to 20 years or so. Who knows, really? Who knows? It could be, uh, you know, one year or it could be another year. There's no other solution to be well known on the gram or, or Twitter. Yeah. Uh, this ain't no happy ending, though. although whatever happens must occur for a reason, right? It's been a hell of a pointing view to look onto though a damn good story to tell your friends maybe I want to be instant famous or whatever you play with as of right now I'm a California dude just chilling like a villain hey that was fucking dope as shit <laughs> no Pinterest Pinterest yeah I don't know what the fuck is Pinterest okay but Pinterest, I heard a lot about it. I thought it was mainly a chick uh, for like a, a woman's website, but I'm, I'm not going to be totally incorrect about that. Instagram was popular in the 2012 era and like 
I guess that hipster vibe at that time. Friggin' like Arizona Tees and uh, Vans, Converse, and uh, all that shit. You know, it's it's comp. It's comp. Here, look. For example, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Okay. Alright, hey. Hey. I can hear. I. Let me see. You see this? I'm not sure you see it, but it's a little, it might be a little glare. Here, let me show you. That's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, he has 301 million followers. I thought he had like 125. Like, what the fuck? Founder? Yeah, founder my ass. Hey guys, Edgar here. Not Edgar Wright, okay? Not Edgar Wright. Although I love that guy. I love Shauna Bidet. I love Hot Fuzz. I love The World's End. I love Spaced. Even though I saw like a couple episodes. I'm sorry, Edgar Wright. But hey, we still have the same name. I think I got some here. Here I got it right here. I was like the Asian Bruce Lee at the time. I was like 17, 16. I'm not sure, but take a look. Yeah, take a look at that. I'm not sure if there's a glare, but uh, fucking dudes flexing on their uh, social medias with their six packs abs. And uh, like, I had that too. I had that too. I had, I had that ego. And um, now I don't. I'm like 23 and um, I fucking I have a slob of fat. I have a beer belly. It's not fun. It's not. It's not good looking. It's not. It's not. Does. It's not attractive. Like, shit. Uh, take a look. At, can you see that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I work hard for that shit. Like, uh, I was like, I was like, what? A sophomore in high school, and like, I was working out every day, and now I got a, I got older and a little chubbier, and uh, yeah, got a little more up. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this self judgment in a day. No, this is a place for uh, positivity right here. Yeah, it's positivity. You know what? Gotta do it for the guy in the chair. No? Yeah? Okay. For the ending message, I, Edgar here, will say, use social media on a limited time base, if you will, or, you know, uh, limit it down. Or, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, of course. Limit your time on social media, because it could prevail, you know, your positivity and enlightenment onto your reality, your real life. What not, for me, I, I, try not, I try not to stay on my iPhone right here for like on a 24 seven basis. And I'm just like, it's, it's tiring, you know? It's like, uh, it's so tiring, it's exhausting. It's like, uh, what? It's like, it's not like a basic bitch right now. <laughs> like, I don't, like right now, look, I'm I'm using it. Like, I can't get off it. Like, it's useful, but if, if only you use it for a proper good use, you know what I mean? Not like, for um, not for like a, not for like a something that's negative. Like, there's pros and cons to it. Like, you know, this shit's addictive. You know, it's like it's for good use. If you put it for good use, that's that's absolutely, you know, uh. That's absolutely, um, uh, fuck. That's actually, that's absolutely necessary. That's a necessity. And, um, yeah, well, this is your boy, Edgar. Um, actually, no, no. But I also have to say, uh, Twitter, Twitter, you know, I'm gonna touch base on that. Uh, Follow your boy, uh, Edgar underscore T four twenty sixty nine. Uh, 
I can't believe I said that shit again. But for real though, uh, could be controversial depending on what you say, depending on what you retweet. Um, could be a, a, a little, you know, I don't fucking know. But like, it's good to you know hear what you hear what celebrities had to say. You know, like freaking Justin Bieber and um. Keep in mind, I love me some Justin Bieber, like, like that dude, that dude got some good intentions, no pun intended. Um, that was such a point, and Facebook, Facebook can be real dangerous if you uh, you use it too much. I should just, I mean, I highly don't use it as as a fair use that much that often. I try. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Your boy Egger deleted his Instagram like a couple years ago or a year ago. Cause uh you know he had that um social media mentality mentality crisis going on. And uh, you know, it happens to uh it happens to uh several people I, I could just tell and there's bullying harassment on Facebook uh, of course you don't have to hear it from me you, know, you get it from you know whole school assembly it's best to like block and move on but if it's not easy you gotta you gotta fight in it <laughs> but that if you have no other choice you gotta you know keep fighting you gotta keep going uh, what else I'm going to touch, touch base on is Snapchat. I guess like people, the millennials, Gen Z, well, we still use that shit, you know? Like we still use that, of course. Like, right, for instance, I'm going to Snapchat something right now. No, fuck that. No, I'm not going to use my phone. But I had Snapchat since I was like, since 2013. I could care less about it. If I had to choose two social medias I could fuck with for the rest of my life, it would be Instagram and Twitter. But that's only um, it's only uh, I could try to Facebook, Snapchat. They could go, but that's kind of like a kill, um, uh, a fuck Mary kill kind of scenario situation. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just how you, you know, it's just how um, how well you provide your time and good uh, usage on to the social media platforms, and uh, you know I'm not like a networking or platforming, you know, individual fellow or I'm not like you know someone to turn to, so I'm not someone to turn to for like advice. For technical um, tips of whatnot, you know what I'm saying, but you know, it's life. It's life, and so whatever you use, use it for a certain amount. Uh, but that's for me. You know, that's for me. Uh, for the future, Edgar. Edgar, you're watching this. Um, use social media on a moderation, dude. Fuck. Wait, what is that? Oh, see, it's kind of toxic. I'm not gonna lie. It has, it has, it has its, you know, smartphones. It could be, it ha could, could have its toxic, toxicity. Mother, mother sucker. It, it could have its toxicity. It could, it could be toxic. There, I'm just gonna say it like that. I was gonna say. Yeah, well, if you use it for calling, texting, you are a, um, you're a real one.
you're a real one, uh, my fellow, my fellow, us, uh, uh, peoples, hey, you know, that's Wazzy. Such a shit. But like I said though, like I said though, remember what Edgar said. Not every uh, storyline has its happy ending, but although there's lessons to learn here, there's proper good lessons to learn here. And I'm talking to whoever is listening. I hope I helped a lot of, uh, you know, um, FOMO. Uh, you know, individuals, you know, FOMO, it's like, uh, I don't know what it stands for, uh, what is it, uh, frequently, uh, on my phone, I guess, I don't fucking know, but it could be potentially that, but I could, you know, I could be, for one, self-described as FOMO on, um, on a daily, which is not good, but, you know, it's proper lessons to learn, ladies and gents. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, something I c gotta keep in mind for, the, you know, the future uh, and near, near future uh, of the days in the life of Edgar. But, you know, it's something to, like, think it over, you know? You know, um, we're, either, we're just um, the innocent ones who are using these platforms, but I'm not, I'm not... I'm not going to call out any founders. <laughs> oh, who would have thought uh, oh, being famous or infamous would make you, you know, king of the world, queen of the world, or, you know, oh, some, some sort. You know, if you're in my shoes, you struggle with the social media and how it turns to, you know, good and bad. Of course, like it's all about the likes and ratio, and it's it triggers with your mind sometimes. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you just can't believe it. You can't. But still, still, just remember, every tale does not have a happy ending. You know, uh, it's like learning lessons to have in life. Just remember that. Thank you.